Oh, good morning. I really thought, um, I don't know what I thought. I thought I took a picture instead of hit record. So, welcome, 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 welcome. Let's look at the week of December 9th, 2019. Let's see, let's see. I haven't used this deck in a while. It's been a while. December 19th. No, the 9th, the 9th. Maybe something with the 19th. Okay, we got the Empress. Lay down, baby girl. It's like, um, it's some type of new, there's some type of offer coming. Because it's like, she's she's holding an olive branch, right? Kind of like an olive branch. Um, I don't really think it's damsel in distress. I, I think it's more like time to, it's like recouping at the same time but there's also something there's also something there too okay so three of pence is out that's whatever this is that's new it's it's a contract so something could be over for something new to start because you know that's that's how it works there's definitely some conflict careful for drama careful for drama might be other people involved there's someone still holding on to something yeah see like right now it's almost like the Empress needs her strength what whatever like it's regarding and especially to to deal with whatever this is you might not even be able to deal it might be one of those situations where you just take yourself right out of the equation like you're plenty strong Okay, I just, whoa, wicked lightheaded. What the frig? What is going on? Uh, I don't know if, Jesus. Um, if, if this is, this is going to be extremely slim. If you're pregnant. I don't know if this is like an early sign of preeclampsia. So don't take any chances. Okay, I go straight to the doctor. Um, majority of you, it's 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 just going to be like your third eye, your chakras. Some of you, which kind of worries me a little bit, is like going through a kundalini. But it happening really quick. Okay, so that there can be all sorts of signs with a, a, a quick kundalini awakening. You got the king of wands. The thing is, it's actually the Knight of Wands. Wow, I really thought that was the King. I was, and I was, but I, what I was, what I was gonna say about the King, right? <coughs> Thank you. What I was going to say is that this is somebody who's in and out real quick, right? It could be dealing with the Leo Taurus. It could be anyone. 
but um oh if I assign it, but it's it's like someone's husband normally would come in a different way. I think over the weekend or within this week you could have met some people. This could be this could be rebound a rebound situation. Um, so just be careful. I'm not saying they don't work, but just be careful. Or somebody interfered with something. <clears throat> something like that, maybe, possibly. You could have met someone or you might meet someone just be careful because I don't know where where they're at within the relationship if there's one <clears throat> this is normally somebody who's very single confident so this could be <clears throat> this could be the Empress leaving a situation in it and when it's all said and done is single. So it's almost like I feel like this is an, an argument that's that's um, ongoing. Someone who's in and out of your life and finally, it's just like, you know what? I've had enough. Like turning your back to the in and out, in and out, up and down. Because I really don't feel like it's two different women. So I think it's, if, if you are, you might not be a mom. Majority of you are a mom. Having the strength to to move forward um, there is some new type of contract you could have just bought a place could have just bought a car or considering there, there's gonna be people in your ear over the week arguments I was just going to get one more and then it's like, no, grab two more. So it's, this could be husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or somebody you definitely know. Look at December 9th, 2019. Now we have the two of swords. To me, it's like, I can't tell if a decision was made or not. But you got this one energy that I believe is the same energy, turning their back to something that's just off on, off on, because the Knight of Wands in and out, in and out. Too much arguing. Looks like a, a final decision is, is most definitely reached, because it's just, you're done with the whole in and out, in and out scenario. Or the arguing, you could be arguing with a, a parent, sibling, teenager. The teenager could have went through a breakup and now they're single. So 
some of you could have had a run, one night stand within the last three months and find out you're pregnant and you gotta kinda gotta give the news how the news is coming out because it looks like you know you'd be raising the baby on your own a good chance that would definitely be your thoughts for some Now you have the emperor. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> now you have the seven of pens at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, me, there was definitely a third party at some point. Even though, as of right now, this is one energy. But I definitely see the third party. Because this is, this is in and out. And, and someone, you know, this, this is obviously Emperor, Emperor, somebody's wife. Okay, but not if, not if you're single, because that's, 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 that's single. Or somebody was obviously <clears throat> having an affair. Or the husband and wife recently split up. And it's like coming to terms with what's next. But arguing, lots of arguing. If there was a third party, it's over. Because someone's single. In and out, in and out. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's, it's like he or she already made a decision. It's like the decision's already made, but now like there's something in the air, up in the air again. But I don't know who it would be with. <clears throat> just just conflict. Cause I'm picking this one up more as the five of swords than yeah, see look what I just cut the deck too. The world and the devil, like something's over. So I'm picking what I was about to say is I'm picking this one up more as the five of swords. I have to split it in the same exact spot again. Very independent. Hold on, tell me about that. It's like something just flipped. Two things just flipped. Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Empress. The Empress. Yeah, see, three of swords. It's like, and it, but it was reversed, so it's, it's, slowly recovering which makes sense if you're still in the process but it was reversed so it's almost like again slowly recovering it's like past it's like past pain and it definitely has to do with the relationship with the king of pens being at the bottom of the deck okay so this emperor could be a capricorn or an aries or a leo <clears throat> but it doesn't it doesn't really matter what sign 
<clears throat> so with the three of pens it's definitely some type of contract but it's like that it's also some type of truth conversation <clears throat> towers at the bottom of the deck so there's a good chance it was just out of the blue some type of conversation some kind of type of truth and now you're single what looks like a conversation will be had or the truth will come out about a certain matter the truth could be exposed about a third party if there is one but it's almost like because the tower is reversed I feel like somebody would be avoiding the truth tell me about the five of wands could be some sorrow that could be some guilt somebody sees the truth in a situation um, someone could win some money on a scratch ticket it's funny because I'm, I'm looking at this as like a scratchy <laughs> Like in that, like almost like being a, a a coin. I don't know. I can't explain it. Almost like you know, people use their their key to scratch tickets, but which is weird because I I ended up winning some money on a scratch ticket over the weekend. I don't use my key. So, but I feel like that's talking about luck. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm seeing green and. I don't even know if green's a lucky number. I don't know. I mean, a lucky color. Tell me about the five of wands. But I feel like somebody is avoiding something because the tower, again, was reversed. Tell me about the five of wands. Princess of Cups reverse. So, looks like there's definitely a water sign that's I miss the drinking, but I don't know what that would have to do with anything. Unless there was some type of secret when it came to drinking. But I, I think there's just a water sign not in this equation with the five of wands. Or you're going to be arguing. The argument will be emotional. Crying. We have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Represents Leo, so it isn't strength. Some of you are definitely just recuperating from going into labor. Um, what the strength card, I didn't even call it yet, but these came out. I got death reverse, reversed and the six of cups. So, again, this is, it's almost like not, when the death is reversed, not transforming, not, it's avoiding avoiding going through a transition of avoiding moving forward avoiding being single it, it looks like a husband and a wife may be talking about splitting up a leo could have children and maybe they don't want to split up for the children's sake stressed out someone could be down with a Libra and then the king of swords is here too so again it's, it's like that would be a court couple but it looks like a Leo is definitely stressed out or someone in general is most definitely stressed out I'll take my sweater off Fucking hot flash Someone could be going through menopause with the Empress being here. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. But someone could be. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. 
got the three of wands reversed. So yeah, someone was in and out in someone's life and put an end to it. But here's the thing. It's like you guys were off and on or whatever. Something definitely ended. But with the three of wands reversed, usually talks about the some um, not going after your ships. Like your future was right in front of you. But now we also have three. Three threes. All right, mind, body, soul. But um, it's almost like shutting, trying to shut down a spiritual contract. Because your future was here. Someone stopped traveling to go see the Empress or to go see her. I, I honestly feel like it's all one energy, though. I don't feel like the third party was intact. Because if it was, she wouldn't be coming in as the nine of pence. That'd be single. You know what I mean? So it definitely wasn't intact. So something already went down. And it, he had an opportunity to have a new start. See what I'm saying? Go towards happiness, messaging. But it got shut down. And again, there's that strength. It's, it's funny because that strength card was right near that five of wands. And I felt that five of swords. So I don't know if I was feeling it from this deck or not. But I knew I was feeling it. So they shut down. Someone shut down something. Over the weekend. Or it's, or it's already... Or it's going to be shut down this week. If you ask me, whatever went down, this is not the first time you got hurt. So I just heard this song, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Okay, and that would make sense why the three of swords is reversed. It's not the first time you felt pain from this situation. <clears throat> but then we all also have like a Leo over here, or a Scorpio, a Cappy, not wanting to have a new start, not wanting to transform their life, wanting to stay in a scenario, being all up in their heads. But it already went down, so it's almost like a, a, a remnant of past pain, something you invested time into. And if this was some type of rebound, you could have shut something down. Maybe you met someone over the weekend, or you will, and then from a distance, and, you know, like, been there, done that, not doing the distance thing again. Tell me about, that's, that's a whole lot. Ace of Pence, Chariot, that's too many. There's five. Tell me about the Nine of Pence. Yeah, see, yeah. Three of Pence, again, definitely a... Um, she could have been an Earth sign. Yeah, but see, we got Taurus there, too. And the Page of Pence reversed. So she's not the single one, no longer... This because it's like past tense, she's not putting energy into it either. And if it was a third party, she took herself out of the equation too. Or you were in a relationship, I will tell you, you probably would only have been like maybe four months tops, three months. She's holding the coin because you were still a princess, you know what I mean. But something got revealed to you. So something, there's some type of contract that she completely took herself out of too. I don't know if it's because he shut it down first because he came out first. He definitely doesn't want to get hurt or he doesn't want to hurt his wife. Oh, I'm telling you, there's... There's an abortion. Could be regretting an abortion. But. <sighs> you, 
I mean, adoption could have been a, an option. And it, I think it was, and then that was off the table. Or you miscarried. Somebody could not be telling somebody about a pregnancy, too. But that will be exposed within due time. This is my foreign land card, so it's like... Tell me about this Three of Swords. Yeah, see, it's laying the weight down, stressed out, not sleeping. Somebody needs to confront their own demons. Um, so if there's a third party, it's like everyone shut down. But I really feel like the energy of the Empress is the same energy here. But it's not. In the beginning it was. Mm. Well, in the beginning I could definitely place it more like that. But I definitely feel like someone couldn't have an affair with somebody who was much younger. The Emperor being here and the Empress. You know what I mean? It's like she wants to lay the weight down too. She's stressed out. I don't know if she found out about a third party. or well, the truth is going to come out this week about a third party. Tell me about the two of swords. But it wouldn't, the third party would not be ongoing. Nine of cups. So someone's extremely unhappy. Someone took advantage of something. Queen of pens reversed. So a Taurus is unhapy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, anyone. Someone's just not nurturing the situation anymore. So that's what I'm saying. It's very strange because that's making a decision. So it's not her not making a decision, whoever she is. It's just not nurturing it. She's no longer even considering making a decision. But that could go both ways because he's still sitting right here too. Somebody who was had lack of comfort. King of Pens at the bottom of the thing again. Okay, so now at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Oh, Princess of Wands. Yeah, see, two women. Could have been a fire sign and an air sign. It doesn't matter. But this King of Pens was the one making the decision between two women. Um, At the bottom of the deck was the Five of Pens. So someone's just... Someone's not really sitting around sad why it's not like that anymore you know it's it's like it's just over in, in someone's head I guess you know what I mean makes more sense because if it with it being upright would be um uncomfortable energy lonely lack of comfort someone is definitely getting themselves out of that uncomfortability seeing something for what it just is Tell me about the emperor. So it looks like he he made a decision or needed to. Looks like it got made. So I feel like it, it more considering this one's no longer putting energy in either and turning turning their back towards the whatever the in and out, whether it was them or you. It, it's almost like the third party was no longer happening. That's done and out of the picture. Now it's between husband and wife. And the wife might be, that was too many, putting the weight down now. Not, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's like, if that's the case, she's holding on to a lot of past pain too. Like, she never laid the weight down. So now she might be like, I'm laying the weight down. Like, it's just it's too much or she's she has to face her own demons because of her own karma I don't know what that would be regarding because it wouldn't really make much sense if she wasn't sleeping I mean she might not be sleeping right but the 
I know she's definitely disappointed, but this is not, it's not like fresh pain. It's like past pain, like never even confronted past pain. Like she never laid the weight down, you know, but it's, it's like definitely laying the weight down now, especially if it comes to a Leo and then there's the five of swords, you know what I mean? Like cutting, cutting her losses, but she could be manipulating energy too with the five of swords being there. Cause as somebody who's like, may have lost like the, the battle but will be damned to to win the war. You know what I mean? Like somebody that just, just that energy. Sorry about the emperor. So the, sh the empress, the wife's holding on to past pain anyway. So, but emperor please the emperor. Got the Eight of Swords reversed with the Three of Cups. So is no longer feeling trapped within a situation. Kind of wanting a new start. Might send a message to someone. Or... Or just feeling free. Like restricted. Like there's no third party. I don't think that three of cups that three of cups could be happy or not happy. That can go either way to be honest with you. Tell me about that three of cups. Where well, this person's no longer stressing out, no longer feeling restricted, you know what I mean? Like not thinking about the other person in the party. The Empress. Oh, the Princess of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Jesus, it's still open ended. What the Frig. It's like, even though she's not in it, and, and even if they live together, it's like her energy and effort's not in it. This one's like about to come to the point where they don't feel restricted anymore. So it's like this one's still, I'm not even going to use the expression the best of both worlds because that's not the case, you know? But, like, that that's shitty news for you guys. Sorry. Because it's, like, it's still open-ended. But if you ask me, if, if you happen to be the one that was having the affair or the third party, you took yourself out of the equation a while ago. You're single, right? Maybe you didn't want to be single. But yeah, you're single. But this is a spiritual contract too. So uh, it's tricky now. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, so I'm going to try to clarify this one more time. Because someone's now feeling like something's lifted. The, the emperor feels like there's a weight lifted off their back. But they're still avoiding. So like this is a temporary lift. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's, it's still temporary energy. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Hey man, see what I'm saying? Like, still postponing. Normally that could speak of sacrificing, but like... I don't see anything being sacrificed. This is a very stubborn energy, not accepting something over, not wanting a new start. Whether they want it or not, they're not pursuing it. Tell me about the Three of Wands. So it's almost like, yeah, see, this is someone's future. It was clear as day. This is this was also someone's could have been their future wife. This woman. So that's for those who would this woman woman. I don't know if you, you kinda knew that, but it it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant at this point. 
I don't know, it's, it's like you wanted the family life, you know what I mean? But they already had the family life. I don't know if you thought that's what you were going to get. Well, that's what you wanted out of the situation, you know what I mean? Could have been again with a Leo. Tell me, um, tell me, tell me. What's that, little Susie? Tell me about the three of pence. Because I don't know if it's like one of those... Oh, damn. Inevitable situations. Yeah, see, there's a third party here. Between air and earth. Air and water, air and earth, air and fire. Any sign. But she's out of the equation. She's single. She could even be dating. Or... Because this one, with the third party, she's up here. This one, she's she's here. You know what I mean, jelly beans? So, So it looks like if you ask me, it's, it's more about, this week is more about husband and wife. Because this one's single, somebody that was at a distance. Third party's not there anymore. Thoughts and energy can obviously still be there, right? But... If somebody's still conflicted, it's kind of no need to be conflicted. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, this, oh, well, it's just, it's over. You know, something. So, to me, that's, this is, wife and husband arguing. So I, I kind of feel like the truth, for some, get exposed. I just want one card for the for the Empress, the Nine of Pens, and the Empress. So for the you know overall energy, one card for the Empress. One card for the Empress. So, she wants balance. She wants to even give and take again. But I don't know if she'll get it with the Six of Wands being reversed. This is a spiritual contract. That would be a spiritual victory. You know what I mean? But the Six of Pentacles also talks about this was one person giving it to people. You know? Um... So it's almost like something may not go in her direction this week. Tell me about the Nine of Pence. Or she's just more worried about what she's going to get for money. And with the Nine of Pence, whoever she is, you know, she's going to get some type of message regarding a situation, but she's looks to me like she's supposed to, focused on her own foundation, her money. She slowly let go too, because you know what's ironic? This four of pence was under the six of wands, where it's like refusing to let go, but slowly letting go. And this was just under her for her too. So it's like both energies are letting go. Okay, this one's more focused on the money. There might be some type of move this week or some type of contract definitely some type of movement when it comes to this one's household job financial security some type of movement here stop with the emperor ten of cups unhappy within a situation looks like something is being exposed Okay, so 
Let's just find out if this is money. Tell me about the six of pence. seven of swords see this one energy is very manipulating or finds out about deception but it is looking right at the six of pence in this see how something's not going to go in her direction because there's some type of manipulation here there's some type of i want balance i want harmony i, I want it all to work out I, you know what i mean it is like yada 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 but is actually using money to manipulate or balance or children that are in the picture it is something like that and at the bottom of the deck is the five of cups so it's it's like crying over spilt milk something she, this this energy wants to undergo their way for sure there's no question but it looks like it's not going to because of their own karma tell me about the ten, ten of pence too many. It was like four. Eight of Cups. So this one's either walking away or moving for sure. Going in a new direction. Creating something new. Possibly something they did in a past life. Okay. Um, so like I said because I, 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 I said to myself that could even be a move. Right? But um the eight always goes to the ten. Walking towards happiness, going in a new direction. You know, taking a new path. Tell me about the ten of cups over here. So, if it's linked, This one's walking. So this energy right here of this princess, whoever she was, she's going to the Ten of Pence, which is telling me she is getting out of this energy, which we knew that. So she's going to stability, family life, a good job. It, there's something like that. She's walking right to it, getting right out of this energy, going in a new direction. And I don't know if it has anything to do with the Knight of Wands. Quick message. And um, tell me about the Ten of Cups. So I hope this helped. Yeah, see, see, I don't know if somebody got like an epiphany, some type of an awakening, some type of enlightenment. Feeling strong. Temper is usually strong anyway, but considering strength is there, it's whatever you're going through is a lot. Okay, so I hoped the extra clarifiers were a little more helpful for you. So hang in there because you go from the 9 to the 10. It's almost like instant family. Which is weird because not instant like that. Anything can happen. I didn't see the tower. But listen, um, the nine to the ten, it would be like instant family, ten of pence to your family, or a really good job or something like that. But I say that because they adopt a whole bunch of children. So I don't know if it's like a blended family thing. But listen, I felt the adoption in here somewhere too. I don't know what that's about. But that's a beautiful thing. Or you're you're just moving and when you move or whoever you meet cuz it looks like over here too. You no, I could just keep going with this damn read. Just going to leave it at that. Holy crap. Obviously we we'll see more throughout the week cuz this is just what the week looks like. Okay, so, 
um, if it looks like there is any type of adoption things going on pa paperwork <clears throat> it looks good especially if it's from another country or you're just starting the paperwork something I'm just getting a really good vibe about it okay so I love you guys have a fantastic day I'll see you soon actually have a fantastic week